morning, St. Luke. Good Saturday morning. I uh, hope you had a great night's sleep. I hope you have a great day ahead. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out. And we begin this morning with uh, Luther's morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Sometimes I love living here in Stony Brook because we hear that old diesel train going through. I feel like I'm in like some, some country town. So, and then I hear the birds. It's great. It's great. Um, let's pray. let's uh, start out with our reading this morning. It's um, a very short reading. Uh, well, it's actually a very short chapter in um, the third John's uh, John's epistle, the third chapter, beginning at the first to the fifteenth verse. The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth, beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in health. I know that it is well with your soul, for I greatly rejoice when some of the brethren arrived and testified to the great truth of your life and as in, as indeed you do follow the truth no greater joy can i have than this to hear that my children follow the truth beloved it is a loyal thing that you do when you render any service to the brethren especially to strangers who have testified to your love before the church you will do well to send them on their journey as god befits god as befits god's service for they have set out for his sake and have accepted nothing from the heathen so we ought to support such men that we may follow fellow workers in the truth. I have written something to the church, but the at uh, fees, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge my authority. So if I come, I will bring up what he is doing, prating against me with evil words. And, do, and, and not content with that, he refuses himself to welcome the brethren and also stops those who want to welcome them and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. He who does good is of God, but he who does he does he who does evil has not seen God. Demetrius has testimony from everyone, and from the truth itself. I testify to him too, and you know my testimony is true. I had much to write to you, but I'd rather write, not write with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon, and we will talk together face to face. Peace be with you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends, every one of them. Um, you know, when I read this this morning, I thought about it, and um, this is uh, this is something I guess we can say about one another, right? Um, what, what John is saying. Um, it's almost like when somebody is growing in the faith, um, or somebody who has returned to the faith, or somebody who has just you know simply received forgiveness of sins, and and he's now you know kind of a different person. Or she's a different person. It says to the elder, to the to the elder, which is John, to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. And the elder is kind of like a priest, a, pa a pastor. But this is what I like this morning when I saw this. It's it's like, you know, this is like almost like a prayer that we could read every morning if you really wanted to. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in health. And we want that for everybody, right? We want, you know, with COVID, we want uh, with, with all the other kind of stuff that's going on in the world right now. I know that it, um, I know that it is well with your soul, which means you're content in Jesus Christ, right? For I greatly rejoiced when some of the brethren arrived and testified to the truth of your life, as indeed you do follow the truth. No greater joy can I have than this to hear my children follow the truth. And that's, I mean, that's gonna that should be our prayer, you know, for our families, for our children, for our parents. Um, and it's great to hear how somebody is doing. Um, in their faith, right? Um, and it may not just be some kind of, you know, uh, like a pastor, or um, uh, it may not be a pastor, it may not be somebody who works for the church, but it's also people who, um, it's also people who, you know, the, the vocations in their life, they be, they're great husbands, they're great wives, they're great fathers and, do uh, fathers and mothers, they're great children, right? We want to hear about that, right? We want to hear how they're they're following the, the the kids. It's like it's like our youth group, right? We we look at these kids and we we see like how Jackie's their leader, right? And we see the faith. It's it's a it's a it's a good group of kids, and we see the, the their faith and how they're living their faith, right? We have a couple of our kids going away to you know to Lutheran colleges, which is great, 
um, this 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 September, and, and they and they're and they're living out the faith. Not that you you can't live out your faith in a secular college or in a, in a private college or in a like a like a Fordham where I went, where it's it's really it's a Jesuit, it's a Roman Catholic college. You we, you can live out your faith there too. So it's really or somebody were living out their faith in the workplace. You know something they see something that's wrong and they point it out in the workplace. Um, Beloved, it's a loyal thing uh, you do when you render any service to the brethren, especially the strangers who we are testi who have testified to your love before the church. That's what Jesus calls us to do. He calls us to love the stranger. So you know, with all the stuff that's going on now, you think about the you think about the nurses over here in Stony Brook or Good Sam or Huntington Hospital, right? They they, they are Jesus Jesus in the hospital. These people these people that are suffering from COVID. Um, uh, they, um, a lot of them are living in isolation. They're isolated from their families. They're isolated from their spouses, their ch the children. And the children are isolated from them, but the, the, the hand of God is in those healthcare workers, the doctors and the nurses. Um, and we should be rendering service to strangers. You know, in this whole thing that's going on now with you know the outcry about racism and, 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 and police brutality, um, you know, everybody we, you know, anybody that we don't know is a stranger, right? That we come into contact with, and we don't, you know, we should be treating them all this, everybody the same, right? White, black, uh, 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 Latino, uh, Asian, uh, wh wherever you're from, everybody's, you know, everybody that you don't know is a stranger, and we should all be treating them the same. Uh, you do well to do to send them on their journey as God befits. That's sending them out into the world, right? We send our we go out into the world every day to work. We we send our child children out every day to school, um, and then it also has to do with being a pastor, being sent out. So I'd ask you to pray for me. I'd ask you to pray for our, you know our pastoral staff, which includes Jackie. I'd ask you to pray for our deacons as we as they're sent out. Um, Jackie gets sent out to, to, to care for the children. Jackie gets sent out to care for the families. I get sent out, you know, in just in the general pastor role, but to make sure people are taken care of spiritually, right? I, I uh, making sure that, you know, the children, that Jackie's doing the right thing, right? Or to make sure that I find out from people that somebody's sick and in the hospital, right? With COVID or no matter what it is, uh, to, that I make sure that there's worship every Sunday, um, that I make sure that the gospel's proclaimed every Sunday, right? Um, but everybody, um, when they go out and do their own thing, that they do it in, in the love of God. For they set out for his sake and have accepting nothing from the heathen. So we ought to support such men that we may follow workers in the truth. And we were all workers, right? You know, Luther says the greatest vocation is, is husband and wife, right? Um, they are workers in the kingdom because they bring the kingdom to their children. And then their children bring the, ch the kingdom to their children, right? Um, so it all flows down here. And then we also have, you know, the... Uh, I call I probably guess a conscientious objector, right? We have Diat, uh, Diat Rafiz, who likes to put himself first, and you can't put yourself first in the kingdom. You have to put yourself last, um, and he's going to basically call him out if, when, if and when he sees him. And I am not content with that. He refuses himself to welcome the brethren and also stops those who welcome it, puts them in, out of the church. Uh, beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. That's what we should be doing. He who does good is of God. He who does evil has not seen God. I testify to him too, and you testify to me. To, and you know my testimony is true. I had much to write to you, but I'd rather not write it with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon, and we will talk face to face together. And then as I read this this morning, uh, we'll have an announcement tomorrow morning about worship. But uh, I would rather not write, I'd rather not video uh, to you but I'd rather see you in person, and I'm sure you want to see all of our brothers and sisters in person. So I'm going to end the, this this little message this morning with the, with uh, with uh, the final verse of John's letter here. Peace be with you. The friends greet you. I'm your friend. My family greets you. Greet the friends, every one of them. And now may the peace which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Have a great day. Receive the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you and reign with you forever. Amen.